We recently took a trip to Monument Valley, and this is a Navajo tribal park on the border of Arizona and Utah. And there are two hotels to choose from when you go to Monument Valley. There's the Goldings Lodge, and this hotel is located about 8 minutes from Monument Valley Park. It has standard rooms, it also has two bedroom apartments and one bedroom cabins. And we decided to stay in the Goldings Lodge Red Rock Luxury Home. This is a three bedroom home set up on a kind of cliff by itself with an amazing view of Monument Valley. The hotel features a really nice restaurant. There's also a gas station and a market right outside the hotel. The next place to stay is The View, and this hotel is actually right in Monument Valley, overlooking the monuments. This is a great hotel to stay at. They have rooms overlooking, again, the monuments there. They also have cabins available to stay in. We stayed in the Valley Rim Cabin, and these are small cabins with a great view of Monument Valley. And if you get up early enough, you can actually see the sunrise from the porch of your cabin. One of the things you can do at Monument Valley is do the 17 mile loop. They give you about two hours to complete the loop on your own. And you can see a lot of the monuments on your own if you wanted to take a self-guided tour with your vehicle. It's basically a dirt road that loops around these monuments. And there's a lot of things you can see definitely by doing this two hour self-driving tour. I recommend doing the self-driving tour and then I also recommend booking a tour to a local tour company and these tour companies will take you to areas that are off limits to tourists and these areas are actually very spectacular and great photo opportunities to see things you can't see in the self-driving tour. We use Monument Valley Tour for ours and Tony was our driver and he was actually a great guide. He showed us many places again that you can't see in the self-driving tour. There's also a spot on this tour you can get on a horse and kind of reenact the famous John Wayne scene. And sitting on the horse overlooking the cliff is definitely a great photo op. And I definitely highly recommend taking the guided tour by one of the local tour companies. I think a great way to see Monument Valley is on horseback and there are several companies that offer horseback riding tours. We took our tour with Wild West Trail Rides and the tour starts behind the Stagecoach Monument. And this is a great way to kind of go back in time and enjoy Monument Valley while you're riding on horseback.
another place I recommend is the Teardrop Arch. And this is on private property, so a private tour can take you up to the arch. And you'll see this iconic photo in a lot of restaurants and hotel rooms of Monument Valley through the arch. And if you're into photography like we are, it's definitely a great photo opportunity and something very really unique in Monument Valley. A short drive outside of Monument Valley will take you to Forest Gump Point. And this is a well-known spot to get a really great photo of the road going into Monument Valley. If you keep going down from Forest Gump Point, you'll see Mexican Hat, which is about a 20 minute drive from Monument Valley. And this is a very unique rock formation that kind of defies gravity. And it's definitely something worth seeing because it is a short drive from Monument Valley. If you keep going down the road, you're gonna hit Gooseneck State Park. And again, it's about a 30 minute drive from Monument Valley. And this is a similar outcropping to Horseshoe Bend in Antelope Valley. And I think it's definitely worth the short drive to go see the Gooseneck Park. And you can fly your drone actually over it from November through February. And definitely if you're into flying drones, it's something that's really fun to do. Again, you can only fly the drone in the off season, however. And there, of course, are many other things to do in Monument Valley in the surrounding areas, like the Valley of the Gods, which we weren't able to do. We were just there for four days. There's so much to do in Monument Valley and the surrounding areas. It's definitely worth a trip out there. And I think it's one of those areas that is often overlooked. You may think of the Grand Canyon or Zion, but I think Monument Valley is right up there with those other iconic landmarks and national parks. And you're also supporting the Navajo Indians by visiting the park. 